Welcome back everyone, I'm Kalani, your host and teacher at the World Drum Club YouTube channel here on the Tycoon channel to show you how to play the djembe. And I'm going to be showing you how to hold the drum, talk a little bit about the history, how to play the basic three tones, and maybe we'll get into playing a couple rhythms in this video. This is the World Rhythms uh, Wood Djembe. The djembe, if you notice the shape, it's a lot like a mortar, right? For grinding, grinding things. Maybe you have one in the kitchen or your grandmother had one in the kitchen. This is a giant mortar. It was used for creating flour, for grinding up millet and rice into flour for cooking. But today, we're gonna use it as a drum to play some rhythms. So I'm gonna give you the overhead view. First of all, we hold the drum between our legs like this. And you could be on a wood floor. I've got a, um, a little rubberized pad down there to help hold it. Um, otherwise, just hold it between your legs like this. And you can see that I'm tipping it away from me. You never wanna tip the djembe towards you because that's gonna be too much, well, it's not the right way to hold it and it's also too much pressure on our wrist. So tip the drum away from you, just like that. And you wanna adjust your chair so that your arms are just a nice comfortable you know, height, your elbow's a little higher than the drum, and this is all pretty much in a straight line out into the drum head. Now there's three main tones that we play on the djembe, low, medium, high, or what we usually call bass tone or open tone, and slap. So if I say tone, I mean open tone. So bass, tone, slap. Let's learn how to play the three basic tones. First off, I wanna identify some key areas of the hand just to just to bring our conversation a little forward. We're gonna talk about the palm area here and then the lower fingers, like the first two pads of the fingers and finally the fingertips. And we're gonna use that idea in our technique development. So now that you're sitting, you've got the djembe pointed away from you, holding it with your legs. The drum is tuned up. You can hear how this drum is tuned and that's how you can tune your drum, or even a little higher if you want. Now, I wanna say that I'm not gonna take my ring off, but if you can take rings and jewelry off when you play the djembe, you should do that. Let's learn the bass tone. So you're gonna rest your whole hand inside the circumference of the drum. Your whole hand is inside, just like this, relaxed, and you're going to bounce off the drum, striking it, not in the center, because that's a dead spot, we wanna go just off center, just here is fine. Really easy, moving from the elbow. You can try both sides. That is the bass tone. Let's move on to the open tone. The open tone, Make a triangle like this, slide your hands back till your palms come off. Your fingers are still on the drum head with the knuckle line or where your fingers meet your palm, right around the bearing edge, right around here, just like that. And you wanna keep your thumbs out of the way. You can keep them up or out like this, making a triangle, and then just they can just hang out. So let's try open tone. We're gonna raise from the elbow like we did before, just here, like that. Strike the drum and bounce off. Now, like I said before, we're gonna connect with this other part of our hand. The bass tone was basically the whole hand with the focus on the palm. The open tone is the fingers, but we really wanna connect with the lower part of the fingers so we wanna keep the fingers flat, the hand generally flat. I'm gonna try it with both hands, but like I said, take your ring off if you can. Notice that I'm not dropping my wrist down. I'm not down here like this. No, pretty flat. So from here, you can practice basses and 
open tones. That's a good warm up. Just stay with those. You can play those for a while before you move on. Maybe do something like this. Or if you want to do a triplet meter. That's a nice warm up, you guys. Let's move on and learn the third tone. This is the slap. And for the slap, we're going to focus on the fingertips. So we're going to let our hands relax. If you let your hands relax, what happens to your fingers? They curve naturally. So for the open tone, my hand was pretty flat, but that takes muscle. If I relax my fingers curve, they might spread a little. So let's hear what that sounds like. Just curved, relaxed, not making a curve, just relaxing. And strike the head in basically the same position as I did for the open tone. Let's hear what that sounds like. How is that different? Here's the open. And here's the slap. Here's both hands. Here's bass open slaps. So to play basic rhythms on the djembe, we use those three tones. Here's a really common pattern. It's called bass, tone, tone, slap, bass, tone, tone, slap. One. Here's another common tone, slap. Slap, slap, tone, tone, slap, 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 tone, tone, one, two, slap, 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 tone, tone. And we can also play triple meter rhythms on djembe. You guys, I'm excited for you to get into playing the djembe. If you'd like to learn more about how to tune the drum, play different rhythms on the drum, all kinds of different things you can do with the djembe. Whether you want to learn traditional West African music from the Malinke and Susu people, you can go that direction and learn folk music, traditional music, or you can use the djembe for playing, as I have, in pop music, in casual music, coffee shops, gigs, pop, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Make up your own stuff too. That's all good. Uh, so if you'd like to connect with me more, you can visit the World Drum Club YouTube channel, also KalaniMusic.com and Patreon.com slash Kalani. Uh, thanks for dropping by the Tycoon site and learning about drums and percussion. I'll see you all in another video.